Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I am so excited. Um, the last video that I shared, I left like a little cliffhanger to like my closet. It's not done. It's not done, but it's coming together. It's just been very slow motion with everything. But at the same time, I think things moving really slowly has made me like appreciate the process even more because it's like, oh my gosh, when it finally gets done, but my closet is together you guys it just feels so so good and then in about a week and a half it's gonna get painted so i'm really really excited about that and then the last thing is my mirror the mirror is up you guys and i am just like over the moon about it first of all this mirror was trying to kill me my son is extremely extremely heavy it is um 60 round and from the back it looks like there's like two heavy cardboard wood plates to hold the mirror in frame so i think the mirror plus the weight plus like the brass around the mirror just made it extremely heavy it was just a lot but i am like really happy that um the mirror is up i'm sorry i posted a picture on instagram so i know people are like oh it's not a picture that I normally post because normally, you know, she be covered in smothered, honey. But I don't know. I've been in sweats for the last like week or two and I felt a little down. And then, you know, things weren't really going my way. I was acting a little spoiled. And so, you know, I, I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling anything. But today I was like, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to let the girls breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my high waisted, uh, snatched away. Cause I'm like, listen, I clean up pretty good when I want to. Oh, but yeah, today's definitely one of those days where I was just like, I need to feel good. And listen, the candle just wasn't gonna be enough. It just wasn't gonna be enough. So I had to get up and um, I don't know what it is, but there's something about like washing your hair. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but for me, I'm like, when I wash my hair, it makes me feel like really really good like a new day kind of situation but um but yeah that's the first thing that i did when i woke up this morning i was like let me wash my hair let me get something to eat and stuff and let me get dressed because i haven't been dressing i do apologize but like i said i posted a picture on instagram and stuff and you know i was looking not cute you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway enough of the chitter chatter i know you guys are here to see the closet so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see that so here is the closet and guess what the guys charged me three hundred dollars to put this whole thing together they did um all the trimmings for down here and here they cut the outlet for behind this piece here they have the piece inside installed there. I mean, they did an absolutely phenomenal job. The only thing left to do is to get the crown molding, which I'm gonna do either four or five. I haven't really figured out. I have to see what the five looks like, um, but it's gonna go around the whole entire span of the room. And I am so excited because what? This room is getting together. The last thing that I need to do before they paint, which are gonna be here in like in a week, I believe is, I don't know if you can see all these lines right here. I'm gonna vacuum and dust this really, really good. Not today, probably tomorrow. I'll do like a clean with me where I'm cleaning this space up. And then I'm gonna go around and caulk everything in these little areas. And then I have to go and get some spackle and cover these little holes right here. And then there's like three right here that I have to cover. And you may not be able to see the ceiling like you see the little ridge right here i'm gonna have william come and just run it one more time he told me once they sanded everything if it needed to get hit one more time just call him he would come out and do it so i need him to do that and i need him to hit this spot right here you probably can't even see it but i can see it it needs a little bit more love on it if i zoom in you can see it but just remember all this right here used to be just one piece of wall and it was cut for those of you guys that are new to my channel trying to figure out what i'm talking about all right but you guys it's actually together and it didn't bust my head to the white meats okay the next thing is <gasps> you guys she's here she's here she's here she's here she's here she's here 
So this was a struggle yesterday. So me and my oldest son tried to put this thing up and Lord, it was going to kill us. And then my wonderful assistant, my wonderful assistant came over and he put it up and it looks so good. I cannot wait to do try on hauls. If you guys are wondering, it is a 60 inch. It came from Home Goods. It was $300. And my realtor had given me um, my realtor had given me a gift card, so basically I ended up not even having to really pay for the mirror. So this was a really great gift in the house. <laughs> but it was the only one like it. I had seen it for about a week, and then the second week, and then finally the third week, I was like, I'm gonna buy this mirror, even if I can't use it for myself. Like I could probably use it for a client or something, but. It ended up working really, really great in this wall. And then I'm gonna have the flowers like right here cascading. And then I've decided instead of doing like a full mirror here, I'll do like a little small mirror over here on this side. And when I'm ready to use it, just kind of pull it out that way I can use it there. Because I just want, I'm gonna clean out a lot of my makeup. That way there's not like a whole bunch of stuff on top of my vanity. I want this space to be like really like glam and like judge my glam and everyone else's glam is just really different so please don't think i'm about to do like a whole bunch of like foo-foo and all i'm not doing that but i wanted to just feel really nice and grand and sophisticated in this space so yes i'm going for like a real nice luxury feel um the window treatments are not here yet but i am going to be doing shutters in here so i'm really excited about that but you guys this is probably like the best piece in my closet it's the mirror it's so pretty and i like it thank you kevin and Tris, because i got it i got a mirror hey yay okay that's enough <laughs> okay so you guys first of all um i want to give a huge dang let me just say that I want to give a huge thank you to Kevin. If you guys remember the homeless to homeowner video, I'm helping him with his house and stuff like that. I had another opportunity to present itself. And um, I mean, I could have put the pieces in my home, but I decided to go ahead and gift those things to Kevin. He has been absolutely amazing. I feel like I have found my match in Kevin. And what I mean by that is, um, I'm the kind of person, like, if somebody is in need, even sometimes if I don't feel like doing it, like, I'm just going to do it, or, um, like, I've given people my last, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I'm really trying to work on that part of myself. <laughs> but Kevin is like that, and I see why things turned around for him, you know? He is definitely um, a giver more than a taker, at least from what I've experienced with him. That's what I can say about him. And um, he's organized all of my files. And I was like, at first I didn't notice it. And then it was on the computer. I was like, did you organize my files? He was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I can organize a house. I can organize a lot of things. But my brain and like my stuff is not always like so perfect. But he has it where everything is like filed and categorized and all my certificates and all my, I was just like, oh my gosh, thank you so very much because it was a lot. And then um, with my emails, he's just been so good. But I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you because last night it had to be like 9.45 and I texted him and I said, hey. And he said, hey. And I said, um, are you sleeping? And he said, I'm coming. And I'm like, you didn't even let me ask. <laughs> And he said, I'm coming. The mirror is really, really heavy. And I was struggling. And you know, once you put your mind to something. So, I measured everything. I did my paper, which is still behind this wall. I have to move it. I did everything. But I couldn't lift the dog on mirror. And that just sucked so bad. But he came over. So, he put it up for me. Gave me some dinner and stuff like that. So, I just wanted to give him a quick shout out. Because he is just really amazing and like i said i can see how things are working out for him because he's truly and genuinely like a really good person and if you're watching this i know you're watching this because he watches all my stuff i want to say thank you kevin you're just amazing you're just amazing 
I told him the other day, I was like, I cannot wait to continue to um, grow. That way I can have you like full time that you can quit your job and stuff like that. Because right now he's working from home with the company. So he doesn't just work for me. He works with me part time. But in that time, I promise you, he's done full time work. And I'm so, so grateful to him. But anyway, thank you, Kevin. So, so very much. I hope you guys are liking these uh little transformations i know they're not like full transformations but it's just difficult to get things done the way that i would want them to be done because number one financially i have to move pretty slow number two we're still kind of in the whole coronavirus coronavirus so people aren't coming out as quickly people are trying to bust me over the head also everyday life expenses the kids just everything together so i really really appreciate like overall you guys just being really really patient Trust me, if I have the cash flow, my house will be done like today, okay? But I don't, so I have to really take my time and make sure that, you know, everything is kind of slow motion. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's upload. First of all, I enjoyed recording it because at the end of the day, it's not just a video. It's my home and it's coming together and it feels and just looks really good. I'm definitely loving the vibe of this house a whole lot um i don't know i mean it's, it's like the same pieces but it just feels like different you know but anyway i hope you guys have a really really great one before i left you guys i wanted to go ahead and share with you some of last night's saga i know the brown paper looks a little crazy but the most important part is actually on that piece of brown paper which is the top of the mirror in the two hooks so pretty much what i did is extended the measuring tape to the 60 inches that way i could see how far the mirror was going to drop down and through doing that i realized from the floor to the base of the mirror it was going to be like 28 i did bring the mirror down some so now from the base to the floor is 24 which i'm really happy about it i did leave the brown paper behind the mirror like i mentioned and i was so freakishly scared that i was gonna drop the mirror i was like oh gosh i don't want this mirror to break because i really do feel like it was a one-of-a-kind find considering it was 60 inches on 300 dollars you guys i really didn't want it to break but i was like oh my gosh if i can just grab it if i can just grab it and i was able to get it and oh my gosh the mirror looks so good and i love it to do my measuring. I traced it. I'll put an old video up that way you guys can see it. Right now, I'm just cleaning it with a little bit of spray away. Spray away, baby, spray away. Oh my gosh, my mirror's gonna be clean. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna be taking selfies. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it feels so good. To see things coming together in the house. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I know it probably seems like I'm cleaning the same area, but there's like a filminess. I think I just said that, right? It's this white kind of glue. Oh, yes, to the blue paper towels. Yes! I live my best life. I like this paper towel. I live my best Oh, I like this one, y'all. I like this one. I'm going to link it down below. I am going to link it down below because I like it. Yes. Come through. For the through. I, okay, so I grabbed this because this was really the only thing when the whole coronavirus thing broke out. But it was like absorbs oil grease. I like this. I need to order some more. And I got it at Home Depot, y'all. So let's see the flowers. I'm not going to hang them up now. I just want to see what they look like. In about a week or so, I'll do the video. <gasps> yeah, I'm going to love this. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> oh, it's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. So cute. Okay, I'm excited. You guys, I need to make like a really, 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 really big one. Um, When I made these flowers, I think I was about like 30. 
So, I mean, it's not like a lot of time has passed, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of maturity has happened in, in five years. I definitely don't want the Chanel sticker on there. I think I took it off some of the other ones, but there might be one or two that still has it on there. But I'm gonna take that off. But this is gonna be really, really gorgeous to kind of have them. Oh, shoot. It's gonna be really, really nice to kind of have them, you know, cascading. Can you guys see that? This is what I meant by like giving the closet like a really nice girly but so also like super simple look. I'm excited for this. Really, really excited. 